Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Nitin Sarma and today in this video we are going to discuss about Node.js core modules. So guys, Node.js core module are basically a set of functions you want to include in your application. We can say what actually JavaScript was doing with the libraries. So now Node.js has a set of built-in modules which you can use without any further installation in your app. So guys, fs we can say is a file system is one of them so now let's start so guys it's our challenges of this particular video firstly we will import the core module that is fs as i already told you that the core module doesn't require any installation for the in node.js and next we will see that how we can create a new .txt file in our project with the help of fs module and then we will see that how we can write text in that particular created file and then we will discuss that how we can append the data in the last updated file and later on we will discuss that how we can read the buffer data of that file guys actually node.js provide us a one more data type that is called buffer data and later on we will convert that buffer data into a human readable form because guys buffer data is in the form of 0 to 1 we can say in a binary forms so we will see in our videos later on so guys just watch the end so now let's just start guys so i have just created a blank folder here core modules you can see and i have just created challenge.js just to understand the challenge of this particular video so guys in this video i am using my core module so that's why i am not going to use npm in this video so now firstly i will create a blank file here guys I will create an index.js file. Yes, guys, I have just created a blank file. So now, as we all know that just to use any module, what we have to do, we have to just write one line at the top. What we have to do, we have to just include. So I will just require it. I have just created a constant, const, and I'm using the same name as the module because it will be more helpful at the time of using later on in this video. So I've just required the FS guys. I have done a very simple thing. I've just required the FS. FS stands for file system. You can say Visual Studio Code also doing you that it is module. It is showing you. Okay. So now guys, first challenge is completed for us that how we can import the core module FS. Yes, it's done guys. So now we have to move to the next one. The how we can create a no new .txt file. Yes, guys. So with the help of this FS, I will create a new file in the file system. So guys, what I have to do, I have to just use FS dot. Then you can see it is showing me lot of hints as well. Visual Studio showing lots of hints as well. That's why I, I have already explained you that Visual Studio Code is one of the best editor just to use Node.js. So now I will I have to write a file first. So guys, I have to use write so you can see it is showing me help that I can use either write file or write file sync write file is mean it will work for the with the asynchronous method as you know the guys node.js is famous because of this asynchronous behavior but sometime we need a synchronous calls as well I hope guys you maybe know very well that what is asynchronous and what is asynchronous guys if i talk about the synchronous guys suppose two uh, two customers goes to a same hotel and the person who was taking the orders then firstly he will receive the order from first one first customer then he will process the complete order then return it back and then he will accept the second customer's order only so it's called asynchronous first request come complete the request return the response then take the second request but guys sometimes in some cases it may be a very lengthy process just just because node.js provide us uh, asynchronously so you can take how many requests you have you can take all of them in the same time so guys now i will use the synchronous method here we can use any one of them so what i have to do i have to just provide the path you can so it, you can uh, you can see guys it is showing you path it's just showing you hints as well so i will provide the path here i am just using the file path in the double code so i will create the file in the same directory where the index.js is created so i have not created any 
path here so i'm not putting i will just put only the name of that particular file just like guys i'm just using test.txt then i will save it yes so guys now i will go to my command prompt yes i will go where my project exists then i will run my program yes it is showing me guys it's an invalid guys because it accepts two parameters yes you can see it is showing us the data argument must be a type of a string or an instance of buffer okay so guys you can see i have just play, i have just provided a single parameter here you can see so but now in the next parameter i have to provide the data so data what i have to do i have to just provide i'm just mentioning welcome to is seven developers yes guys i just so i will just left the data as blank just to show you that what parameters it requires and what required parameters it has you can say it is showing in your hint as well it is showing first one parameter showing as path in path you can provide number or whatever it is path like and then data it's a mandatory guys and later on you can provide option optional parameters as well in the as a third parameters okay so now i will go to the command prompt once again and i will rerun my program so firstly guys i will clear my screen and now i will rerun my program once again yes i will press enter yes the code has executed and now you can see guys the test.txt file is created successfully here you can see and i will just open it just to check what content it has yes it has it's welcome to seven developers how simple it is guys just playing with the file system is so much easy so much easier so guys you can see content has been updated here so guys we have seen that how we can use the right file sync what it does firstly it will check the file exists with uh, which is provided in a path or not if file exists then it, it just update the text if file doesn't exist then firstly it will create the file and then it will update the text whatever is provided here because guys if i will read my program once again and just with a small change welcome to stubborn developers thanks i've just mentioned a thanks here then i will read my program once again yes i will open yes guys you can see thanks is also updated here so this time it has not created another file what it has done firstly it has checked the file is already created not it if it is already created then it has just updated the text otherwise it has created earlier in this video we can see okay guys so now create a new text file this challenge also has done and write text in that created file it's also done guys so we have covered the three challenges guys these are the basically small small challenges but it can make a big effect in your life at the time of node.js development so this is a very most important module which is a core module which is provided by the node.js and we don't need to install it anymore we can just use it after the required and now guys we will see that how we can append text in last updated file yes sometime in some requirements in some cases guys we have that what data it files has suppose guys we are mentioning the logs of every execution of our program so we have to write the date and time and all the logs it is so we have to append the things just like whatever content it has already so we have to append the content at the end so that's why fs provide us the append method as well guys so i will just make a comment here because i've just used it so now fs provides another method that is called fs dot so guys it is very simple to use use of fs is very simple just like we have a requirement to append the data so it's a very so what we have to do we have to just write the append yes it is showing the hints as well you don't need to remember even the name of the method so it's a very simple guys so i will use a synchronous method once again here guys append file sync and it is also showing me help about the methods what it expect as a parameter you can see it is it expect first parameter as a file and then data is a second parameter later on you can provide it options as well so i will do the same thing guys whatever i've done in above line i will just use the same file test dot 
dash dot txt yes then i will provide the data which i want to append so i will just provide one space then i will just put it as my name here so guys i will save it and you can see guys text or txt what has it has only welcome to stubborn developers thanks and now i will read my program once again i will check the fact yes i have just written my program once again i will open the test.txt guys so you can see the nitin sama has append here okay guys so i hope you have understand the that how you can use the append file sync as well with the help of fs so guys this challenge also completed that how we can append the text in last updated file it's typo mistake it's typo so now guys we will see that how we can read the buffer data of particular file so guys i will clear you one more thing that i am just playing with a .txt file you can play with any of the file which what you want with the what extension you want it's not necessary that you have to play with the .txt file only so i will just clear you all the things okay so now guys let's move to the next one that how we can read the buffer data of that particular file yes i will make a command this method as well this line i have also commented guys you can see how much simple it is i have to just write the single line and i can do the complete operations what i want so guys you can see how much simple it is so now i will read it read the data and i will read the data in the buffer form as i have already explained you that node.js provides us another data type that is called buffer data which is also very useful you can see when we will going to play with the large files so now guys i will just create another constant so i will use a parameter there is buffer data i've just created a variable here buffer data then i will use the fs dot guys just to use any method of the fs as we all know that just to use any method of any particular package firstly we have to use package uh, package files as well so i have just used fs dot then i will use the method so guys it's very simple that i want to read so i have to type read only here and you can see it is providing me lot of hints as well i can read file read while sync read sync read directory if suppose guys i want to read the complete directory that how much files are there i can just read with the read directory method and i have to just provide the path of particular directory it's a very simple guys so i will in this video i will read the file so i will use read file sync then you can see it is showing us as hint that is asking for the path and it expects one parameter is mandatory that is path another is optional so you can just pass it on later on by default it provides you buffer data otherwise you can just pass encoding in this method as well but i will provide the one parameter only you, i will provide test.txt yes guys i have just used read file sync and then i will console the data what is the buffer data is okay so i will read on my program it will show me the result of this particular file in console i will go to the console yes I will read in my program. Yes, guys, you can see it is showing me a buffer data here. You can see, as I already explained, it is showing me in the binary form, so that's why it is showing us me a buffer data here. But guys, it's not in a human readable form. You can see, and I want in human readable form. So firstly, guys, I will go to my challenges that how we can read the buffer data of that particular file. Suppose, guys, you need to read the data in buffer format only. So that's why your challenge is done. But I want to read, oh, I want to convert that particular buffer data into human readable form. Then what I can do? I will just tell you. Wait one more. So guys, I will save it. So now just to convert the buffer data, what I have to do? I will just do a very simple thing, guys. What I will do? I will just display console.log. So I will use buffer data dot. I have to use just to string method guys so what this method will do it will just take a buffer data and it will convert the data into a form of string and that string will be in the human readable form let's see once again i have to go to my command prompt 
I will clear my screen once again. I will rerun my program once again. Yes, guys, you can see. Wow, it is showing me welcome to Chaban Jawla Pass. Thanks, Nathan Sarma. Yes, you can see how much easier it is that how we can use the buffer data and how we can convert that particular buffer data into a particular string. So, guys, this challenge also has completed for now. So guys, I hope you understand the use of FS. This is the basically core module of Node.js, which don't need to install anymore. So we can just use it just by require it. So it's a very simple guys. Another thing I would like to clear guys, suppose like here I have just read the buffer data. I will just use the buffer data here. And I just, I don't want to do such things so just like first access the data in buffer format, then convert that buffer data into a string. I can do a very small thing just to come out with this problem guys. So what I will do, I will just use where file data, I just created a variable here and I will read this, I will copy the file, copy the line. Yes, then what I have to do, I will just pass the encoding. And as you can see, it is just providing us the options. It is asking for the options, encoding options you can see. Okay, but it's optional. That's why it doesn't require in my video. So I will just pass here. So I will just pass UTF-8 encoding. Yes, you can see. And now I will print the data, file data. Console.log. I will save it and I will go to my command prompt once again. I will clear my screen. I will read my program. Yes, guys, you can see. I've just commented my all the process of buffer data here and now I've just used the same method but what I have done I have just added a one more parameter in the function call that is the encoding UTF-8 I I hope you may be aware about the UTF method of encoding so guys I hope you understand all the things of FS it is a very simple thing but it can resolve your very big problems so guys, I hope you understand, but still if you have any query regarding the buffer data or FS, anything you require help from my side, you can just directly put it in a comment box and I will get back to you soon, as soon as possible. So guys, now we will meet in the next video, we will learn something new. So till the time, take care.